All right, YouTube, we back with another one, man. If you're new to the channel, you already know what to do. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, man. Be sure to smash that like button. Be sure to drop a comment for your boy, man. I do appreciate it. I do appreciate feedback. I try to interact with all my people, man, in the comment section. So if you guys have any questions after the video is over, be sure to jump in there and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Before we start this uh, video off, I'm trying to start doing this from now on, small disclaimer, YouTube, I'm not promoting any sales in this video. I have nothing for sale in this video. I ain't trying to get in trouble, y'all. So, you know, I got to follow the rules. I got to abide by the rules. I'm um, just strictly showing y'all a review on a product that I bought with my own money. And however you guys feel about the product, that's solely on how you feel. This is based on my opinion, my opinion solely. So at the end of the day, you know, if you rock with it, you do. And if you don't, that's still cool with me. So... We're gonna jump right into it, y'all. As y'all can see here, y'all probably already seen if y'all watched my last video with the dagger being dressed up. I threw a couple parts on it. Um, I did say I was gonna do an unboxing and the uh, first impressions of the uh, Sealy. I didn't wanna get too in spec with it on that video. So this is gonna be a little bit more in depth. Basically unboxing, this is the, uh, the Wolf 2. So you can see here, it's the green dot that I got. Fully submersible, rainproof. Um, I believe it because I know I've been seeing a lot of people beat the crap out of that Wolf X Pro. Um, I went with this one cause like I said, it was, it was more budget friendly. Um, so that's the reason why I went with it. I, I do like the Wolf X Pro, but I figured I'd try this out because I'm, I'm trying to get into this optic stuff for 2024. I'm trying to get more in debt with optics and things like that. So, you know, I kind of want to learn how to use it. Um, if you guys watched any of my other videos, I spoke about it a few times. I had a, uh, I had a Canon TP9, had the top of the line executive edition one. I paid like almost like almost a grand for that gun, man. And you know, as you guys know, you know I'm big on budget guns. I actually had that gun on layaway for a while, so I was making small payments on that, and it actually came with a red dot. It came with the Vortex uh, Venom, and that was just a bad experience for me. I didn't like the gun overall, needless to say, but. That was my first experience with a red dot or uh, any optic. And I just couldn't get around to sighting it in. Everything was just off for me. I didn't really know much about it. I just bought it because I thought it looked cool. Honestly, I'm being I'm being 100% truthful with y'all, man. I had no idea what brand the optic was or anything. I just thought they looked cool, looked tactical. I had the threaded barrel. Um, if you don't know what the TP9 Executive Edition is, just Google it and you'll be able to see for yourself. It, it's a nice gun, just wasn't for me. And like I said, the whole optic thing wasn't for me, but I think it was just a bad start. Um, so, I, you know, this is kind of like a reset. So this is the reason why, you know, I went with the Sealy because it's it's uh, it's affordable, it's cheap, it's budget friendly. And from what I've been hearing, Sealy been doing their thing with the optics, man. Like a lot of people been abiding by them. You know, I've been hearing nothing but good things. So I figured I'd try it out. But this is what it looks like on my dagger. It's got the RMR cut. So if you have a gun that's cut for RMR, it'll work with the plate. Mine's it actually sat right up on there with no plate. So as you can see closely, I don't have a plate on there. It mounted right on. I was told that you could do it this way. I mean, mine doesn't have any wiggle or anything like that. And I put the screws on, the screws that came with it. Because when the dagger, when you get it, it comes with the screws for the plate, the RMR plate that you put on there. Like if you're not going to put an optic, you'll just have the plate on there. And it has two screws that comes with for the plate. And then if you were to get an optic, but honestly... The screws there were supposed to be for like an RMR optic. They were just too long. They, they didn't fit. So I kind of was confused. I was trying to do research. And in all honesty, I didn't see anybody saying anything about if Siley provides the screws. But in the box, you know, I'm going to get to the boring stuff here, man. You know, you get the usual. You get the little messages and things like that. Real quick, I know y'all could care less about this. The usual books and stuff. You know, how to, how to, how to cite it in and things like that real quick and then that's if you want to cite it in five i'm probably going to cite mine in at 10 yards when i do go to the range because honestly i'm not really too big on shooting far i mean you know for self-defense purposes i'd rather do a five to ten yards just to be on the safe side because most encounters will happen if you know god forbid if it was to come to a situation where you got to be this far i'm you know that's going to be something hard to beat in court so you know i'm not really too big on that so five to ten yards is probably going to be where i'm excited in that I was playing with it at home, the site, you know, just to kind of mess around with it and see. But, you know, like I said, you know, you're not going to be able to really get to it as far as zero until you get to the range. But 
um, this is the tools that they give you. You get the little sight in tool to adjust the um, the windows and the elevation, and then obviously the, the Allen wrench for the screws. So like I said, y'all, I didn't see any videos that told you what screws to use for the dagger or any gun for that matter. So it comes with about four different sets right here, as you can see. So I went with this one. If you guys have the dagger, I know this will probably help out some people because I did not see any videos. This is the one that I use for the dagger. As you can see, there's one extra. I'm assuming they give you three of each just in case you lose one because the screws are so small. But that's the one I went with right there, 640 uh, by 0. Point whatever, 374, nut diameter, five and a half, effective length. So these are the ones that I use. And as you can see, they went right in flush. Um, they recommend to use Loctite. I didn't put any Loctite on there yet. So I probably will. When I go to the range, I'm going to order me some. So I'll put some on before I get to the range so that it doesn't come loose. But in all honesty, I might test it without the Loctite and see how good it does. Um, as you can see, I turned the dot on with the, um, the, the, the buttons on the side. You got the negative and the positive. So I just hit this one time and it activate the dot. So the camera probably won't do justice, but this dot is huge, y'all. It takes up almost the whole screen. I didn't mention it before. This is supposed to be for people with astigmatism like me. I have it. So that's actually what drew me to this optic and, and wanted to get it because I wanted to see if it really works. And honestly, so far, so good. The dot shows up really clear, whereas though any other optic that I've ever tried out, it's always kind of like a little blurry. But this one actually works perfectly, like... But yeah, y'all, the camera don't do no justice, man. This thing is huge. Like, it literally takes up the whole, damn near the whole um, the whole window. I can't get it to focus. But there you go, y'all. It looks much better out from the camera. But there you go. That's just a little, you know, little preview of what it looks like on camera. So I got the height sights, and it lines up pretty good. So you could call witness. As you can see, the height sights go slightly over. The, the, the dot does sit a little high, the optic. But the height size, if you can see, they do go a little over it. So you'll still be able to call witness with the height size to come with the dagger, the factory um, suppressor sights. So, yeah, this has the auto shake awake. So after five minutes, it will cut off. And then, you know, when you go to grab it and sense its motion, it'll cut right back on. So I do like that because if you're carrying this EDC in it, you know, you won't have to worry about, you know, God forbid you have to use it. You know, it'll cut right on once you touch it. You know, if it senses any any slight motion, it'll turn right on. So this one has the uh, this the three MOA dot. So this, this, this is a circle dot. So it has the big circle with the dot in the middle. So it's the three MOA dot and then it's the 64 MOA circle reticle. So that's the big one. And then the three MOA dot is the one that's in the middle. So... I do like that because it's kind of easier to get on target. I think it'll be easier for me to get on target, definitely, because the optic that I have on my Mossberg actually has the same. It has four different reticles you could change from, and I actually have the one with the circle and the dot, and it does help when I'm at the range to get on target with it. Um, it just helps you kind of like find it a little bit better, if that makes any sense. But in all honesty, guys, like I said, 2024 is something new for me. It's going to be optics. Um, because like I said, I really didn't know too much about optics up until a few weeks ago. Like I've been doing like my research real heavy, real heavy on them. And honestly, I didn't even know what that crap meant. Like MOAs and all of that. I really had to understand what that meant. You know, as far as the three MOAs and the four 64 dots and whatever, I didn't really know what any of that meant. Cause I'm not really big on optics. You know, this is the first for me as far as getting in. Like I have an optic on my Mossberg and I have an optic on my ARP, but those came fairly sighted in when i took it to the range i didn't have to do much adjustments and like like i said i didn't read much in on as far as like the moas and things like that what exactly does that mean you know but basically you know i'm still getting into all of that you know and also speaking of that as far as bigger guns you can mount this on a bigger gun like an ar or something like that it has the pick rail right here so the, then the screws you'll be able to mount the um the optic right on here and then you can just mount this on any pick rail and it has the screws in there and it also came with a few extra bags of screws just as well for like the pistol. There's a few extra screws that came for, um, for this as well. Um, you get the cleaning cloth. You get the cleaning cloth right there. You get the, um, like I said, you get the, the whole instruction manuals and things like that. It's the boring stuff. I know you don't want to see this, but if you are interested, this is kind of like the stuff that you get. Basically telling you how to mount it, you know, how long it takes for the shake awake to come on. Um, the, the brightness settings. You put it up here. The buttons are a little hard. They're, they're like kind of like 
they're recessed, but they're still hard. You got to kind of put your nail in. So like that'll put the brightness up. And this thing gets really, really bright. Like as you can see there, like I said, once again, it's not doing justice, but you got the um the the dimmer right here on this side, on the right side to down the brightness. So as you can see, the brightness is getting a little bit. Actually, that's actually helping with focusing. So y'all can get a good picture on that. You can kind of see it a little better when I lower the brightness. But yeah, this basically has 10 brightness settings. You can see how low it gets, I guess, for like, I guess, daylight settings, like when you're outside, like if you don't need it to be that bright. But then again, you might want it to be bright. So that might not even. But yeah, this has 10 settings. It has eight for the daylight and then two for nighttime setting. So 10 brightness settings in total. And like I said, you know, it looks good. It looks really good. It sits good on there. I like it. This is your um the elevation and then the windage. Now, one thing I got confused with and the manual tells you, this doesn't mean it's going to go right. This is like the point of impact. So when you turn it left, it's actually going to go left. That doesn't mean it's going to go right. I mean, I got confused with that. Some of you might, some of you might not if you're more experienced with me on the dots and the, the optics and all of that. And then also this one says up. But when you turn it this way, when you go to adjust to the left, it's actually going to go downward. So... Just a little something for y'all to, um, you know, just a quick tip. It's just, you're going to see it in the manual anyway, but there's your battery right there. Um, you can, the, you got the, um, had the, the Allen wrench to take that out so you can replace it easily without having to take the screws out. You'll just unscrew that, pop it right out. But um, the battery life on this, I'm not sure exactly how long is the life of it, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be good because all the Sealy Optics have pretty good battery life on them. But yeah, y'all, that's pretty much what it looks like right there. And like I said, those are the screws that came with it. I already showed you guys which size to use. If you do got going to put this on a dagger and you don't know what screws to use. I mean, obviously, it's self-explanatory. You could use the screws and things like that and just kind of like experiment. That's what I did. I just used every bag until I figured out which one fits snug and actually flush. And like I said, this one was the best one right here. So just in case, one more time for you to see. And... um. Like I said, you know, they out of the box, it comes with everything you need. You even got the the cover right here. Sealy cover right here. Real nice. Pretty thick, you know, material. And it'll sit right over. Right there, as you can see. And it won't interfere with the sights. Right there, as you can see, you got a nice little gap so you can pull it right off. It won't be an issue. So I do like that. Cover's really nice. Goes sits right over right there. In case you're going to have this sitting in the safe or something like that, you know, kind of to protect it from dust but yeah y'all i really like this man so far so good i mean it, fit, it feels durable the material it doesn't feel cheap like like i said it's not wiggling or nothing you know the screws are in there pretty firm i didn't want to over tighten it um so like i said you know it, it it looks really good it feels really good in the hand the quality feels great one more thing i'm gonna add is you know it comes with serrations right here so you could just use it to cock it and as y'all can see we are empty I didn't show you. I don't even have nothing in the mag. So we are definitely empty. But yeah, you see, you can just kind of grab the serrations really easy and no issues at all. So that does help when you're going to go to rack it. You know, if you want to just get a grip on, nice purchase on the on the dock. And that'll just be easy just like that. So like I said, y'all really do like it, man. You know, I don't know how many times I probably said that already. I just like the quality of it. And for the price I got it for, I think it was like a little under 120 I think that's a steal and it has really good reviews. And for what you're getting out the box, you know, the shake awake features, the reticle circle with the dot in the middle, you know, those normally come on the higher end optics. So I do like that. I think that that's really cool that they provided everything for you and, and the features and stuff like that. So we have yet to see, you know, obviously we're going to go to the range and check it out. I'm going to do a range review for y'all check it out, you know, put it to the test kind of get on and run a couple rounds down, see if it stays on zero and things like that. And that's pretty much going to be it, man. And if it, if it does well, then, you know, Sealy will definitely be getting more of my business. You know, like I said, I'm not sponsored by them or anything like that. This was solely on me. I bought this. I bought this out of pocket. So, you know, let me know what you guys think about it, man. Jump in that comment section. Let me know how you feel about it. Do you like it? Do you rock with Sealy? Do you have any Sealy red dots or anything like that? I would definitely like to know your experience because I've been seeing a lot of people making out good with them. So, you know, hopefully I'll make out good with my experience and, you know, I'll give you guys that range review as soon as I can get out to the range. Until then, man, stay tuned. Hunter gang, I appreciate y'all. Y'all be safe out there, man. Until next time, we out.